Ladies and gentlemen, a frequent guest on this program, Ryan Grimm, who I know, he's a, uh, he's a big fella. Um, I would put him at about 200 pounds, 6'2". Carries it well, too. He carries it well. Um, and so Ryan Grimm is the Washington bureau chief of the Huffington Post. One of the reporters that works with him and is his friend is Amanda Turkle, who I also believe we've had on this program, uh, or certainly at different times I know that I've interviewed her. And um, years ago, I think it was uh, in 2006 or seven, Amanda Turkle was working for Think Progress. And uh, Bill O'Reilly had done one of his uh, memos where he was talking and implying that uh, a woman uh, who was dressed in a way that he found to be scantil scantily uh, was drunk and walking around New York City. She was picked up uh, and um, subsequently killed and raped um, uh, by a, a killer and rapist who was ultimately arrested. Um, Bill O'Reilly ended up doing a fundraiser, I think, for an organization that was either based on, on, on her or uh, supposedly something similar. And Amanda Turkle had made the point in um, Think Progress that uh, Bill O'Reilly at the time uh, did some victim blaming on some level. Well, apparently Bill O'Reilly did not appreciate this and did not have access to the uh, private police corps uh, at uh, Fox News. So he sent this uh, moron, a guy named Jesse Waters, whose uh, claim to fame is that he is um, Bill O'Reilly's errand boy and is willing to go out and, um, it appears, followed, um, followed her in his car onto uh, her vacation and confronted her in uh, Virginia somewhere. Well, uh, Ryan Grimm never forgot this. So seeing um, Jesse Waters in his tux at a, um, after the correspondence dinner at a uh, after party, Ryan Grimm approached him. And um, I have a feeling uh, Ryan was, um, was festive, was in a festive mood. And he uh, suggested maybe that um, Jesse Waters come over and apologize to, um, uh, to Amanda Turkle. And uh, let's pick up uh, a partial way through the, uh, the confrontation. And Ryan Grimm is uh, recording this with his phone. And at one point, Jesse Waters realizes, like, hey, I'm on the other side of one of these video ambushes, and it makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm going to do what the 4-6 Amanda Turkle could not do to the 6-3, 225-pound Jesse Waters. I'm going to uh, physically uh, get this camera out of my face. Absolutely no way. All right. <laughs> She's saying there's no way it's going to happen unless you totally probably apologize. Oh, bring her over. Bring her over. I'll apologize. She won't come over. Come on over. I'm not coming over. Tell her to come over. I'll apologize. Yes. You went all the way out to like the middle of fucking nowhere. You can go five feet over there. Come on. I love Amanda Turkle. She's a good girl. I'm not gonna apologize. But she's a good girl. Ah, come on. She's our. She's I remember already... her. I remember her. Did she? Did she hit you? She said some nasty shit though. I had to call her out. I had to call her out. She won't come over. No, she won't come over. Psychologically scarred. How about... No. There she is. If she come over here, would you apologize? Oh no, but bring her over. I just want to say hi. I, I ambushed her because O'Reilly told me to get her because she said some really bad shit. What'd she say? She did it. I know you're video. Oh, of course video. I am. She denigrated some rape victims, so I had to call her out. That's what we do. That's chivalrous of you. So in your in your chivalry, in his in his chivalry, he went out to the middle of Virginia and cornered her. In, Are you videotaping? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, of course I'm videotaping. Right. Get out of here! Uh, ah. And there it is. He throws the uh, phone, and then uh, Ryan Grimm then subsequently uh, retrieves it, and then uh, and comes back. Jesse Waters uh, grabs the phone uh, and takes it from Ryan Grimm, and then, um, well, uh, some shoving and uh, apparently uh, maybe a punch or two was thrown. 
in, in that response. And um, I have to say, in watching this, it was the first time in the decade or so that I have, or decade or plus, that I've been conscious of the White House Correspondents' Dinner where I wished I was there. Because I didn't realize that getting into uh, physical fights with right-wingers uh, of uh, Fox was actually an option. Hi, I'm Sam Cedar, and this is an Ann Coulter doll. You should not be immigrating here. Yeah. Stay in your country and hate us. For smart progressive talk and a little bit of this and even a little bit of that. Mission accomplished. Subscribe to our podcast. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And like us on Facebook to get some of our best video clips.